come out, here we go. Lovely jubbly. That's it. Just pump a bit for it. Clean the filter. Or get the filter going. Looks quite hard to pump, doesn't it? Do you think it's gonna work its way loose again? No. Oh. I've got a spillage in aisle two. All ready to go then. I've got bugs flying in my face as well, which is quite nice. <laughs> you probably could just pump it straight in the thing, couldn't you, if you wanted to. You can tell the summer's coming, all the midges and that are coming out, aren't they? Yeah. Bound to get bitten. I don't know how that clip works, you just have to work it out somehow. I think it's meant for a... Oh, is that it? Simple as that then. It's coming out a bit of a funny colour, isn't it? It's probably because the filter's not been used before, is it? The filter probably needs to be purged. We'll leave it for it, yeah? Yeah, I'd feel... I'd, I'd clean... I'll clean that filter through first before you use it, before you drink it. It's probably alright to drink, but it's probably just a... Uh... It's probably the ceramic um, it filter. Looks, it looks ceramic-y, doesn't it? Mm. Or it might just be bubbles, you know. Does it look, does it look like just bubbles to you, or is it? Oh, I'll give it a second. Give it a second to uh, just settle, see if it's the... Because I don't know whether, I didn't read the instructions, but I don't know whether you have to Pump a litre purge it. it yeah, normally. purge it first. Yeah, you have to purge a litre for it. That's nearly a litre. This, this filter's supposed to last a lifetime, apparently. It's supposed 50, to do... 50,000 gallons. Yeah. 50,000 litres. Which is a lot. You're never going to use that. They reckon, what's that? Uh, that's alright, isn't it? Okay. Let it settle for a bit, and then uh, let's see what happens. It's probably that's probably all it is, yeah. Bit of shit on top. So that's the. Uh, so that filter does one thousand, sorry, thirteen thousand gallons, or five, fifty thousand liters. <coughs> so that's a. Uh, that's quite a lot. I think it's quite a lot. And it only weighs 550 grams. So that ain't a bad purchase. And I got that for, uh, that was, I think, 180 on Amazon. When usually they go for like, I've seen them for anything up to 200, uh, 299 pounds. So that's a pretty good. And they've got a lifetime guarantee on them as well. So the only thing that will ever go will be the ceramic which you have to change. Uh, yeah, they they, they say that if you if you filter four liters every day uh, of drinking water, that would mean the fi the filter would last a massive twelve thousand five hundred uh, days. So I don't think that's going to be running out anytime soon. That's coming out a lot clearer now, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's uh, that that's that ceramic filter is just uh, needed purging through, isn't it? Yeah, by the looks of it, guys, you have to put about a litre, a litre and a half for it just to clear the ceramic. Um, obviously, when you clean it as well, you have to use a scotch bright pad and basically sand the uh, the ceramic filter inside it. I'll take it apart in a minute and show you. You get a little red gauge where um, it's like a depth gauge. If you could fit the uh, red depth gauge over the, the actual ceramic filter, um, it, it's basically time to uh, replace that's, the actual filter. That's quick as well. I mean, if you really wanted to go for that, you could probably fill that up uh, in no time, couldn't you, that? Well, this is a litre, so I mean, yeah, look at yeah. And I mean, that other, that other water filter I bought the other day is nowhere near as quick as that. And look, um, look at the depth of this stream as well. Yeah, you'd never get a bag. I mean, to get a bag in there and dip yeah. a bag... That's like... Oh, well, that's the, uh, that's that's the, the first... Uh, that's the first bit of uh, unpractical. It's all testing in the field, isn't it? That's what it's all about. Well, the, the bag seems to be waterproof, so the that's one good thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, but, uh, but purge it a bit more now. The beauty of it is it, so that's, we've done that so quick that it doesn't really matter 
dropping out the zip because you can just uh, fill that back up in no time. Also on the, it uh, looks like it's got like a little float as well on it on the... It's got uh, a float on the top of it. Yeah, so if it does, uh, it'll never sink. It'll never sink and pull silt. Yeah. Fortunately, there's a little bit of moss on the bottom of this, where it's quite a... It has actually got a filter in a minute. I'll have to show you the filter. It's got a big filter and a small filter, I think. Mm. I mean, look how quick that is. That right is to the top. And the, and the only thing as well, it's got a little clip-on uh, attachment, so you can clip that to the side of the... That's pure, isn't it? Yeah. Zoom that in a bit. Yeah, that's how clear that is. It's obviously got a few bubbles in from the... Uh, from where you've just pumped it through, but... And then if I zoom into that the pump, the actual... Uh, sorry, the actual... Uh, the bit that f pumps the water up. It's possible. Uh, cheers. There you go, there's your filter. Yeah, that's it. External big, big debris. If Inside you pull that in, back, that black bit back as well. Internally there's a little mesh filter as well, if you can see that. Yeah, you can pull that right back that, I think. Does it no, go back any further? go back over the pump, over the hose. I need to take it off the hose. But yeah, bear with us, obviously it is a... It's like a little metal... Uh, it's a little metal mesh filter, basically. And all you do, I'll just pump it through. That's it. Right. Let's strip it down. And I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. You get a little bag as well. So obviously keep the. That's the bit you want to keep the cleanest, don't you? I suppose. Yeah, that's your clean, the clean bag. The other bits don't really matter. Just chuck them in the water. Yeah, like I just did. The back is waterproof actually because it's about 10 tonne of water in it. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, testing in the field. So you know that. Uh, <laughs> that's, one, uh, <laughs> that's one good thing. Right, here we go, guys. Uh, right, to uh, get the, um, the filter out. This is all metal, by the way. It's all like um, milled aluminum. Um, so obviously, get it out. You unscrew the uh, bottom there. That obviously purges the water out of it. That's your bottom uh, filter housing. There's obviously the uh, the uh, inlet, and there's a little ball bearing mounted inlet and all that. It's all uh, milled aluminum, so it's built to last. Um, but if you're using it in very very cold weather, obviously you hold the uh, the main body, which is actually an ABS plastic, which obviously won't get mega mega cold if it's obviously very very cold. And obviously, if it was all aluminum, it will it'll all be obviously uh, very very cold to the touch. Um, but fortunately, this is a fixed ABS plastic. Don't you mean aluminium? The aluminium's America, isn't it? Aluminium, aluminium. <laughs> yeah. America, Same thing. Like right, there's your uh, ceramic filter. Um, that's obviously what you need to change every uh, every when it obviously goes over the depth. The depth gauge is like a little claw, which obviously fits over the top of it if it actually needs to be uh, needs to be replaced. Um, but that's good up to ridiculous. Was it fifty thousand litres or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, uh, one one thirteen thousand gallons. That is depending on obviously for what American. Sort of, what sort of um, type of water you're using? Obviously, if it's really, really dirty water, then obviously you're going to get a lot less out of it. But at the moment, this stream's pretty fast flowing. It's really, really uh, less sediment in it. And that. Um, but yeah, that's it. When you when you clean it, you get like a Scotch Bright pad. Um, you basically just sand off the outside coating um, when it gets dirty, and obviously you don't get the performance out of it. Um, fully serviceable. In the actual pack, you get different O-rings and bits and pieces. Um, if you want to uh, service the O-ring on the actual uh, plunger. You just unscrew the top, pull the plunger out, there's a little o-ring, and you actually get some uh, silicone grease in the actual pack as well, so obviously you can lube it up and uh, keep it nice and flowing and obviously stop it binding. Okay, that's basically it, put it back together. You only need to hand tie it, because obviously it works in its own pressure. Now we've got a water we can get a, a brew on, can't we? Yeah. But yeah, the thing goes over the top, the little uh, locking. It can't go two ways. Uh, there's a little serration to the bottom, obviously to stop you putting it on the wrong way. The top bit's got a little uh, groove in it, which basically just slips in. And then your bottom bottom valve. They have thought about it for the field, don't they? So if you want to take it off in the field, you can just... It weighs serve. about, I think approximately about 500 grams, something like that, according yeah, to the manufacturers. 550 grams, I yeah, think. So it's pretty, it's, it's, don't get me wrong, it's heavy, but 
obviously that's where it's aluminum and it's actually built to last but to be quite honest for something like this look at the size of it um, and that could get you out of trouble big star 99.9% um, it takes the um, bacteria and any germs nasty stuff in it out of the water so yeah I think it's EPA rated as well um, which is obviously all plus and all good but yeah when you put it together you put your black caps on that's it and when you're finished in your bag Anyone who wants to know dimensions, the dimensions of the uh, the unit itself is 24 uh, centimetres by 6 centimetres um, or in inches is uh, 10 inches by 2.4 inches just, just in case anyone wants to know that, fit in their packs and stuff like that Comes in a little bag, it's like a little little sausage basically, got a nice little hooks on it and that and as I Plenty of spaces as well isn't there to put yeah. other stuff in there if you want to put other yeah, bits if you want to put other bits like um, Probably put some fire starting gear in there. Probably put your spoons in there if you wanted to. Even though anyone, everyone only just knows one spoon, one fork. But yeah, that's it. Nice little branded bag. Ripstop nylon. Looks like it's built to last. But it'll be quite honest, you're not going to be throwing it down the trail. So it's uh, probably good enough to be inside your pack. Um, a little bit dirty there. But it should just wash off where it's ripstop nylon. But yeah, that's it. Let's get, let's get a cup of tea on then.